Hi, I'm Ebony, and these are tales from a dark-skinned woman. I believe society has had an impact on my self-confidence. I do, especially growing up um, in the Black community. We know that darker complexions, um, kinkier hair, um, more Afrocentric features are not necessarily praised. Um, like I said, especially when they are displayed on a person with darker skin, especially dark skinned women. Um, I, I can remember always seeing um, lighter skinned women always being uplifted or praised, um, even if they were not necessarily the most attractive. Um, light skin was kind of like you know your your past so um and that's not to tear anyone down but um i've i've seen it i've, I've seen it happen um and as a young girl knowing that you know my skin was darker um like i said my my nose is was wider is wider um my hair is kinky and my lips are full i know that i am the complete opposite of what um, is praised and lifted up in society. Um, you know, the closer to white, the closer you are to right. And I was very far from that. Yeah, media definitely um, played a role in how I viewed myself, especially when I was younger. Um, I can remember only maybe a few dark skinned young women that were on TV that, you know, were um, beautifully flawed or, you know, positive characters. Um, you know, we had Brandy. She was Moesha. She was a brown skinned girl with, with braids. You know, that was me. And then I can remember your family matters and you had Laura. Laura was gorgeous and she was, um, you know, she was Steve Urkel's love interest. And although he was the nerdy guy, um, he, he praised, he, he worshiped Laura. Laura was the end all be all for beauty. Um, she was the standard. So, um, those images were positive. I, I saw myself in them. But then there were other shows where um, the characters may have been beautifully flawed, but they did not look like me. Um, and if they did look like me, they were either a mammy-ish figure, um, sapphire, snappy figure, or they were just promiscuous with, you know, not necessarily much depth. So I think those images um they did impact me they they made me feel like i wasn't as highly valued and how i felt was not necessarily a lie um yes i was i was told i've been told that and you know i i've heard it most recently a couple of you know a couple of years ago um, yes, you're, you're prettier, you're beautiful for a dark skinned girl. And I can remember the first time I heard that I, um, attended and graduated from a historically black college. And, um, you know, there are lots of beautiful black women, um, especially at HBCU. So, um, you know, I was one of many. And, you know, mingling and talking to meeting, talking to guys, meeting new people and, you know, receiving compliments and, you know, receiving some attention that I had not received because I'm in a different, um, I'm in a different area and a different environment. So, um, I can remember specifically, you know, someone, you know, trying to get to know me, um, and a young man telling me, you know, you're you know, you're really pretty for a dark-skinned girl. And 
I actually think that he thought it was a compliment when he told me that. And he was kind of shocked that I wasn't, I wasn't flattered because to me, you were telling me, you know, I don't see many pretty dark skinned girls or it's uncommon to, to actually be attractive and dark skinned. So, I mean, it's one of the most backhanded compliments you can receive, especially as a black woman. I build my self-confidence um, as a dark-skinned woman by being conscious of the media and the images and the things that I um, I consume. I make sure that I am listening to music that is not degrading me and that can be um, very hard if you enjoy hip hop music um, because right now the mainstream you know hip hop rap um, it doesn't do that you know it's it's not it's not uplifting to um, women and we can't just say that it's just hip hop we know that all music is misogynistic. But um, the the amount of disrespect and colorism in our music it is is there. It can't be ignored. So I, I'm just conscious of those things that I consume as far as media and music goes. Um, I make sure that I'm not comparing myself to um, anyone in in un, in unrealistic ways, um, and I I focus on me, you know, my strengths and my weaknesses, and you know that's all I can do. When I was younger, um, what what was on TV? Um, what was in the music videos, those things impacted me because I knew that those women didn't look like me. So I let that, those images dictate how I felt about myself. Um, but today, um, I don't, I don't do that. Um, yeah, dark skinned women have a, a hard time in the dating pool. Um, and I have met some guys who have said that, you know, dark skinned women are their preference and people have preferences. And I, I mean, I'm not saying that that is, that's uncommon, but, um, to me, it was uncommon to hear guys say that they, some guys say that they do have a preference for, um, dark skinned women when it's actually, um, it's more popular to be the opposite. Um, to have a preference for women who are not dark, dark skinned. Um, but we know that that is based in, you know, self hate and is inspired by racism, you know, because like I said, the closer to white is the clo closer to right. And, um, unfortunately our community has adopted those values in, in um, how we uh, view people with darker skin and more Afrocentric features. Um, but yeah, like the dating pool is, it's a little different for a dark skinned black woman. Um, guys will tell you, well, you know, I don't normally date dark skinned girls, but you, you know, you you different and, and i'm just like uh don't you know and they'll say that thinking that it's like i said almost just like the backhanded compliment that you know you're pretty for a dark skin girl um so yeah you'll be viewed as more aggressive and even outside of the dating pool i've been viewed as more aggressive even in the the corporate workspace um you know so 
yeah, it's 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 hard out here. You know, you're you're basically you know, judged by what you look like and perceived to be more aggressive or more masculine and things of that nature. I would tell my younger self in regard to self-love and um, self-confidence and just being a black woman in general, I would tell myself that you know, you are the wave. There are so many other women going to dangerous lengths to look like your average black woman. So, you know, if you're already born with it, you know, you have it. And that you looks good on you, the original you, not someone trying to look like you um so that's what i would tell myself and i would tell myself that there is n there is no one on earth more stylish and more innovative than a black woman you know we turn some of the most simple things into you know masterpieces whether it's our clothes, our hair, you know, jewelry, you know, whatever we we wear, you know, we we spice it up, whatever it is. There's, you know, there's no one who can do the things that we do. And that's what I would tell myself that you are one of a kind. You are unique and you are what everyone else strives to be when it comes to um, the standards of beauty. Yeah.